So as I usually do, just to get some air and to get some socialization, which I really don't socialize with people on the street randomly, I tend to walk around the downtown area I'm in every Friday or Saturday night. Whether it's to get a bite to eat, whether it's to get a breath of fresh air, or in some cases, to get a drink or two. And I've noticed that a lot of guys tend to use this moment not necessarily to hang out with the other guys and build up on the bond of friendship they've already established, which, as I said, if you're going to go out to a bar in the middle of the night, then that's that's the main reason why I think you should go. As I said, nightclubs, screw nightclubs. Just screw them in general. But bars, if you want to go there with the guys, talk your shit, hash acts, Saturdays for the boys, all that happy horse crap saying, and that's one thing. But I noticed that there is still a certain percentage of guys who tend to go out only for the purpose of meeting chicks. And you would think with this Me Too movement that's been rampant, that that objective, that the nightlife, night gaming, as a lot of people call it, would be all but the fuck. But us real people, us real men, realize that night gaming has been the fuck now for at the very least 15 years. Let's just call it what it is. But I noticed that a lot of people, maybe it's because I live in a city that's not even predominantly white, it's overwhelmingly white. But I've noticed that a lot of guys still tend to, at this day and age, cater to women. Whether it's catering to their attention, catering to their need to go out, seen and be seen, so forth. And what I've come to realize is this. Uh, and let's not forget about the dinners, the luxury dinners, the dates, and, and just other forms of time-wasting, as far as I'm concerned. But what I've come to the conclusion is this. Between a lot of those things, between getting married, having long-term girlfriends, particularly in American society or just Western society in general, I realized that while a lot of people, well, I'll say that in a bit, but I'll re I realized that, or I've come to the conclusion that most white men aren't aware of their privilege. Most white men are oblivious to their advantage. And it's simple. I can give you multiple examples on how they're oblivious and unaware of what it is to be a white man in America. Now, a lot of people, a lot of blacks will talk to you about how it is to be black in America. And they'll give you the sad, sap story on how they've been pulled over by the cops when they were blasting um, little jizz and young Illuminati in them thinking that that wouldn't give them any attention, especially when they're in a residential neighborhood, or that how they were trying to be swathed up and swagged out in middle and high school and just keeping it dumb to impress hood rats, and all of a sudden they find themselves in menial jobs, making the minimum wage. Wow, you're complaining about immigrants or complaining about the sole black guy who actually did something with his life and all of a sudden you're calling him a coon and a sellout and an agent. Um, you, you, you'll hear those stories about the black experience and black suffering and all, all this other kind of stuff. But a, a lot of white guys are unaware of the advantage that they have, especially in the United States of America. For within the United States of America, we, we can... 
we can all pontificate and ponder and guesstimate and estimate and destimate and whatever on why or what the objective was in creating this continent, creating this continent country we live in. But as of today, white men, not just in America, but worldwide, are seen as the top dog. And in some cases, it was through merit. And in some cases, yeah. Yeah. But regardless, they are at the number one position rank right, right now. And I want to emphasize, right now. <laughs> I'll let you economic guys or economists and people who are aware of global offense and geopolitics as much as I am explain that why I emphasize them right now but but the reason why I say white men don't know or are or are oblivious to their advantage is this despite the advantages you have in this world and especially in this country you all to this day still tend to grovel and plead, cater, and yeah, well, it's cater to the wills and the whims of Western women who want nothing more than waste your time, waste your money. Now, I don't know which one's worse uh, having your money wasted or your time. Some people will say the obvious, well, it's time. Look, white men who don't know, if you don't know this, when it comes to women alone, you guys, as American white men, don't need to waste your time groveling and entertaining them. And that doesn't just go for white women. That goes for all women. It actually especially goes for non-white women, as a matter of fact. I've seen guys in nightclubs, fill up nightclubs and bars and restaurants or, or just other events, like these PUA events, especially back in the 2000s, um, just finding out ways on how to game winning and, and gain their attention and approach and holler and or, or in many cases in other cases they do it indirectly by showing off their assets showing off how much money they have by buying all these sports cars and buying all the, these houses or um, properties or whatever well granted if you're using that to make your own money that's one thing but i've seen guys white guys especially buy all this materialistic stuff in order to impress women. Women in which the United States has made it basically all but inevitable for them to be with you, for them to flock to you, for them to open their legs and pop their cherries to you. That is what the United States has been built on. And also to keep black men out. <laughs> We all know it's true, man. Let's be honest. Let's, let's not act like this is the, the this is a meritocracy here. I mean, freaking hey, this is not Canada or Europe, Australia. Let's 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 be real. I mean, I'm not, I don't hate the United States like some of these pro blacks, and you know, I'm, I'm not ready to call every white person I see whitey and white blue double eyed whatever. But let's call it down the line. But white men. You guys, to this day, are still oblivious on your advantage. Because if you guys were aware of your advantage, you guys would realize that you don't need to do jack shit except be a halfway decent person. 
That means, honestly, if you want to talk about effort on stuff that you have to do, all you really need to do is get a damn good education, get a damn good trade, hold down a good, a decent paying job. It doesn't have to even be a six-figure job. Just a decent job to provide for yourself. Get yourself a decent apartment. Get yourself a, a, a car that's presentable and clothes that are presentable. That's all you guys really need to do. And also alongside that, your, your body has to be present, presentable as well. I mean, yeah, you got some of the, a lot of these storm cuck alt-right guys who, I mean, it, it, to the regular white guy, I mean, I would recommend you guys really calling them out because sooner or later, they're going to do something that's going to make all white men look bad. I'm just saying. I mean, you, you guys have the luck of being seen as individuals and whenever something, some, a white guy does something heinous, it's that guy who gets the heat and not the entire white male race. But as, as we're seeing right now, believe it or not, that, those days are about to come to an end. Unless you guys step in and check these alt-right basement dwellers who basically do everything that I say not to do or basically don't follow anything I, I recommend. That these guys are fat, balding, neck beards, with horrific hygiene, a shittier work ethic, and just no drive whatsoever. A lot of these, a lot of you guys out there aren't aware of your advantage because if you were, you would ignore, or well, yeah, you would disregard having gone out of your way via nightclubs, via crowded bars, via cover charges, via expensive restaurants, game um, seminars, or whatever. These dating um, events, you would scoff at that and say, hey, look, Grant, I'm speaking from the perspective of what I vision to be a moderate male who happens to be white. It, it, because if I was white, I would think like this. Hey, look, I know some of what I've received in this world isn't through merit. A lot of it was, a lot of it is. I put myself in shape, have a six pack, have a damn good degree or trade have my own place, have my own car. But me being white, combining with those things, puts me in the top 5% of men in the world. I don't need to go out to restaurants and pay hundreds of dollars just to get a peck on the cheek. I don't need to deal with SJW Feminist leftists who think their shit doesn't stink because they have a degree, a master's degree in public policy and give you all sorts of attitudes and lip. I don't need to deal with this. I'm a white male. I'm a white man. And to be honest, the way I sound, some of you may think I, I am white, but I uh, well, just look at my previous videos. Um, But look. It's fucked up that what they do to minority men and especially black men when it comes to tarnishing their image and putting in social programs to um, make the race or devolve the race to the point of them acting, acting like savages. I know they aren't inherently like that. It's social programming. But in the meantime, I'm going to take advantage of being the top dog of America and basically have my heart's desire. Point to whatever woman I want. Put the charm in. Just comb the hair like they do in the commercials or in those 80s movies. Give the wing. 
and just spit minimal game, if any game at all. And if a lot of white women aren't feeling that, if they aren't receptive to me just being me, me just being white and moderately successful, then I'm not above getting with a non chillified Latina, a non-ghetto black chick, or any Asian chick in general. And I'll bet that any one of these non-black chicks will demand that much less from me to get what I want from her. Whether it's a relationship, a casual sex partner, or whatever. Because I'm a white man in the United States of America. And yeah, I know America is on its last legs. It's not due to minorities or gays or whatever. I mean, it's more like you can blame the feminists for that. But hey, who needs them when I have a submissive Asian girl or a feminine Latina girl or a black girl who just is obsessed with my skin color to the point of wanting beautiful biracial children. Even though I'm using Fazzle gel. Don't, 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 don't tell her. Don't tell her. But yeah, I'm a white man in America. And my ancestors died. They fought. They built. And they sacrificed so that my white ass can have all the advantages in the world. And that especially is true when dealing with the opposite sex. So, what are through a blonde chick or any other chick, a, a, a brown skinned chick or a dark chick or a chick with sexy eyes and straight hair, I'm going to get mines. And I'm going to get mines for the lowest fee and the least amount of time. <laughs> you get where I'm coming from, guys. What white men who are watching this, and I'm not sure how much white guys have subbed to my channel. I, I know I have a few. And to you guys, I do thank you for seeing past what a lot of people may assume as a racialist channel. But this is a channel for all men. I, I do make. I won't say maturity, but polarity of my content towards non-ghetto black men because I feel as if non-ghetto black men have the least amount of voice on any sort of medium or media, including YouTube. I mean, yeah, you got you, you got you got black channels, but a lot of them speak from either the typical Negro perspective or if they even if they do have sense, which a lot of them, a growing amount, do. But there's still this there's there's still this bit of a niggification in them to the point in which they swear up and down all black men love big butts and ghetto attitudes and you, you gotta have the insta fat stuff which I if I haven't made a video about it already by the time I upload this I, I will definitely make one. On the request of a lot of my fans, fans, a lot of my subscribers. But hey, for all you guys, for all you Caucasian guys, especially you Caucasian American guys out there, it's okay to take advantage of your skin color. It's only human nature to take advantage of whatever advantages you may have. That's why a lot of these women out here are taking advantage of the feminist movement and the feminist policies. Um, granted, to our um, to our peril or to or to our disadvantage, but to be honest, a lot of us, a lot of men of all races, allowed this. That's a whole other video, but it's true. That's why women today are having what is probably considered the best time in history to be a woman.
that's the L that we all share. And in one of my other videos, I said, you know what, if we all stood up as men, stop fighting each other and focus on the real causes of our discontent, we would be much better off. But as far as being a white American male, it's okay. It's okay to take advantage. Just don't do it at the expense of holding other men now. So go forth. Take advantage of your skin color. Know your value. Know your market value. And make other people, particularly other women, aware. They want you to go out to these these clubs and entertain them and be like, yo, bro, yo, bro, man, I'm a dude, bro, man. Look at my so funny, man. I'm so funny. Look at my abs. Look at look at these abs. Hey, hey, I, I, I can be a clown. I can be a dance clown in a nightclub. Yeah, the shots with everyone. You don't gotta do all that. You, you don't. Or. And the another case of being like a hipster and sitting down and having her this person an asshole and the uh, this guy that I slept with he was an asshole too and the um the neighbor was an asshole but I slept with him oh did I tell you I slept with my boss but he's an asshole you don't have to deal with that shit. And for all these people who are making you deal that shit, teach them a lesson. Ignore them. Tell them who you are. And some, in a lot of cases, it doesn't have to be literally telling them, but if it comes down to it, tell them outright. I'm a white American male. And I don't have to deal with your bullshit. I can get much better quality women who will put out much faster with much less cost on my end, whether it's money or time. So go forth. Capitalize on your skin color. At least while you still can. And everyone else out there, always bet on X.